We are learning more about a tour guide killed in an old mine in Cripple Creek. Yesterday, workers worked for hours to rescue 12 tourists who were stuck 1,000 feet below ground. Patrick Wire died when someone went, something went wrong in an elevator in that mine shaft. He leaves behind a seven-year-old son. This happened at the Molly Kathleen Gold Mine in Teller County about an hour west of Colorado Springs. Your reporter in the mountains, Spencer Wilson, has an update from that scene. We're still waiting to hear what caused the disaster with this elevator here outside of Cripple Creek, but we did learn that it took the life of Patrick Weir, a 36-year-old man from Victor who has a seven-year-old son and who was training to become a volunteer firefighter. There's a time for everything under the sun. You've heard that. This is a time for mourning right now. Where there was celebration for the safe return of the 12 people trapped at the bottom of the mine shaft last night, now all that is left is a somber tone for the tour guide who was killed. We know that there was some type of a, an incident with the doors. And at that point, something went wrong. We don't know what caused that. We don't know how it happened. All we know is that, that something occurred at that 500 foot level. OSHA will be looking into the specifics, but county officials and local mayors say they know the family who owns the mine and believe what happened here could happen anywhere. But in any time you're dealing with heavy machinery and, and uh, a thousand foot level, up to 500 feet level in a mine, there, there could be accidents. And this was a tragic accident. One that sends ripples throughout this small mountain community. I know in Victor that everybody will be in mourning when they realize who it is. In a town where everyone knows everyone. The future of the mine is up in the air right now. This weekend's tours were the last scheduled for the year, but should they reopen to the public? I know personally that as soon as that mine reopens, I'll be willing to go down because I feel that confident in their um, attention to details. The victims who were trapped down at the bottom of that shaft are being offered trauma support. In the meantime, the family of Weir are still asking for privacy, but we'll let you know if there's a public memorial that will be held. In Cripple Creek, Spencer Wilson covering Colorado first. Spencer, thank you so much. And Spencer covers all the big stories across our high country. Recently, that's included stories from Glenwood Springs to Gypsum to Keystone and Central City.